Okay. Ugh. Wish me luck, because I am going to try and replant um, these two tomato plants because I was on vacation when they got planted and they got planted into these tiny, tiny little buckets. Um, and their roots are showing and I just don't think they're gonna make it. So I have to transfer them into my new pots. And I'm also gonna be transferring my aloe that I have because it's getting too big. So um, this is like super ill-advised, I guess not really supposed to like transfer once they're this big but I don't think they're going to continue making um, fruit or like even bearing their fruit if I don't transfer them and get them some more soil so we're gonna just go at this um, Ooh, you know what I need some rocks I'll be right back. Okay. Ugh. I got some rocks. I'm gonna put at the bottom of each. Big truck. Okay, so at the bottom of each, I got a little bit of rocks. It just helps with drainage at the bottom of your uh, your pot. Take our potting soil and hmm, I should probably get like a cup or something. Man, I am not prepared. Okay. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so put a layer of soil into the bottom of each on top of the rock. Like I did. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna make old people noises every time I get up. here's gonna be like the biggest trickiest part for me is getting these plants out of their little bucket and into this big bucket also I don't think I'm gonna be able to take off this ring because it'll break some of the Some of the arms, so I'm gonna try and. Ooh, that's scary. Okay, we're gonna do it this way. There's less to crush on this side. I'll lie this popper down. I'm gonna squeeze around the edges of this bucket to try and release the whole uh, thing of soil here. to see if I can get it to come out in one round. Because if I can get it to come out in one full round, then I'll be able to transfer it really easily. Uh, grab around the base of your plant and your stem and try and wiggle this puppy out. Oh my gosh, it, it's working, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh wow, that's a good root system. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Pretty cool. Okay. Just this into here. Very nice. Okay. And now we fill around the edges. There's like 
one to two centimeters, not centimeters, inches of space around uh, the wall between um, like the old, there, the old soil and the bucket. So I'm just filling this with new soil. And I'm not gonna disturb any of those root systems at the bottom. I am going to put a new layer of soil over top um, because there are some roots exposed on the top. So I wanna make sure that those are covered up. Uh, I'm not pressing down too firmly, just sort of giving it a flat surface on top. We'll do this other side here. Okay. There we go. There's one. And then for good measure, give it a new watering. Solidify, ugh, solidify, solidify this new pot and all of this new soil together. Awesome. So that's cool. That's how you replant uh, a tomato like midsummer. There's one. Okay. Scooch this one out of the way and start my second. I'm gonna have to tie this back up to the, the post. Okay. I'm just gonna try and see if I can scooch this wider into the new soil that we have. So I don't disrupt any of the old root systems. There. But that way it can sort of push down farther. There we go. And give a better like support system. All right. You sit over here transfer your brother. Okay. All right, wobbles. Okay, we're gonna do flat down here. We're gonna push on these sides, try and get them to release. Okay, and this is like completely dry. Like the, the soil is very, very dry at this point. There we go. And we are gonna slide that out. Cool, good. Okay, I'm gonna lift from the stalk. There we go. Stick that into the new section. There, okay. I'm going to pull these out now. Widen a little bit. Ooh, I can hear you. I'm sorry. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit better. There we are. Okay. It'll be better once I get some more soil in here. Good, all right, that was way easier than I was expecting it to be, honestly. 
Um, but, you know, I'm not going to try and jinx myself yet. I am. I don't know if this will have completely worked. Um, I'm just entering the horticulture program in September. So my plant knowledge is not vast right now. Um, I'm just sort of a beginner on all this stuff, but I figured if I was going to be replanting this, I might as well record it in case anybody else is in like the same sort of situation this summer and they just threw their plants in whatever they could. And then now that your plants have like way overgrown <laughs> their little buckets. This is just like a basic potting mix. I got it like Canadian Tire, really cheap. Pretty cool. All right. It's two down, two to go. Of a rock to try and help block a little bit of this hole, but not all of it. Again, new layer of soil at the bottom. Make a tiny little well for where we're going to put the uh, all the soil that we already have. Kind of like this. There's just like a little bit of a well in there. Not very deep. And the old squish out the water technique, turn upside down. Yeah. Okay, well, not as easy of a transfer, but that's okay. We're gonna grab it and twist as e like as much as we can as a whole, so we're not fucking with any of the root systems. Okay. There we go. Sit you up straight. More soil around the edges and on top. Last babies. I got this one from a friend of mine. And I meant to transfer it a really long time ago and I just have not. And now it's produced more and more babies. So I am going to finally transfer it now. Okay, just a little sprinkling there. This one's harder to get out because it's like a really awkward shaped. There we go. Okay. Just gonna take those suckers and shove them right in. This aloe is also very weird. I don't know why it grows like this, but it's only really growing like straight up. It's not growing all the way around. Like this one, it kind of has shoots like wherever, but this one's just straight. Like it's just, it doesn't come out like horizontally or anything. I don't know, it's weird. That's how you replant plants. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you, if you need to replant your own plants so they continue to live. <laughs> Thanks for watching and until next time, just keep on living.